Greetings and welcome back to CK3. Today we are going to continue our adventure in the Kingdom of Sicily. But before I start, let me say thank you to one of you, Blue Europe, because Blue Europe left a very useful comment uh, in the previous episode. And uh, I wanted to start from there. What did Blue Europe mention in the previous episode? He mentioned that now that we have moved the capital of the Kingdom of Sicily to Palermo and that we still hold some counties here in southern Italy, there are two new decisions available in the game. So let's take a quick look at this decision so that I can explain why right now I'm really not going to focus on these uh, two new milestones, so to say. So the first new decision available is Found University. And uh, the reason why I'm not really focusing here right now is because the development level in the county of Naples should then be greater or equal to 40. And there are two problems with this. Problem number one, right now in Naples we have a development of 14, which basically means that if I would really chase this decision, I will have to spend years of development in the county of Napoli. And this is clearly not the priority at the moment. As I mentioned in the previous episode, I would like to focus on the counties in Sicily and on the development of the counties in Sicily. So for the moment, bringing Nap Napoli to 40 is, uh, let's say, not my priority. Also, there is another problem. As I also mentioned in the previous episode, I would like to ideally keep the counties in Sicily as my own domain and then give away the counties in southern Italy. This, on the other hand, it means that if we will develop Napoli up to 40, whoever will then rule these counties will then have uh, a very powerful position. It will become basically a super powerful vassal, which is something I don't really want to deal with. Uh, definitely not now. So for the moment, we can discard this option. I don't know, maybe in the future I will change my mind, but right now I do not want to found a university. Uh, but I really wanted to share the rationale with you because, uh, of course, there are these two new decisions available and uh, it might be interesting for you to understand why I'm not focusing on them. The second decision, new decision that is available, this is honestly something that is a little bit more interesting and power Sicilian Parliament. On the other hand, the reason why I'm not focusing on this right now is the cost of this decision because as you can see it requires 1500 units of gold and 3000 uh, of prestige right now thinking of gold we only have 558 and we do not farm a lot of gold every month so uh, at the moment i think this is quite expensive for us and also for the prestige we have only 2279 so even though it's an interesting decision and maybe later on we might decide to uh, chase it for the moment, I think it's too demanding. So this tell you a little bit why I'm not focusing on those two new decisions, but thank you again, Blue Europe, for bringing this to our attention, first of all, because uh, I think it was important to explain why I was not taking them into account, but also because there are several newbies who follow the series here on CK3, and so it might be useful for them to know uh, that, for example, if you play in southern Italy and uh, you meet these requirements, then you have additional decisions available in your run. And in general, I mean, guys, uh, I appreciate whenever you leave comments, so feel free to interact whenever you want, to give suggestions, ask, whatever, you know. I always read your comments, sometimes I leave the hearts, sometimes I answer in the comments, and sometimes it will also happen that I, I will answer to you in the next video as it happened today. Now, after this long introduction, sorry for that, I think we can focus on this new episode starting from the current situation. First of all, I have a low control in counties. This is uh, something I'm aware. If I'm not wrong, my marshal is already busy, exactly, at least for the next 10 months in Benevento. I can declare wars, but we will think of this later on. Family members can get married. We have Virginia, 18 years old, and Elisabetta, 25. For the moment, I will just marry Elisabetta, who is a little bit older. I will go with the Polish boy, send proposal, very good. And before I impose the game, I will also take some minutes to review the people at my court, because I always forget to make sure that everyone is married, that all the kids have education. So let me take care of the, let's say, regular routine. Very good. I took care of all the marriages and the education of the kids. And I can also give away some counties 
to be within the domain limit and then I can also hold court so let's start by giving away um, Benevento I would like to pick someone from my family adult of course and definitely Sicilian if we focus on stewardship then the best option will be definitely Saro Filangeri let's do it then I will also make him the Duke Foggia we can give it away to a noble of the Sicilian culture let's make Densaro the Duke Duchy of Benevento grand title very good and then maybe we can give away also Camarda this we will give it also to another member of my family also Sicilian with good stewardship Antonio Filangeri might be an option Evangelical backlash I am met by a poor Ashari a vision of uh, humility and supplication glorious king I come to plead that you stop the priests that harass Palermo's people and drive them to adopt Catholicism we are Maghrebi, our tradition differ from the great Sicilian people. Let us maintain the customs of our ancestors and worship Allah in peace. Be merciful, my Lord. Unfortunately, we are very, very good Catholic rulers. We cannot allow this to happen. This is a role-playing run. Let's simply say no. Let's simply say no. Federico, who is the, the bishop, will gain 10 of opinion, so we strengthen the relationship with the Catholic Church and then we get integration continuous it's a uh, malus in terms of development growth and popular opinion but what to do we need to make sicily catholic the monster of messina a haggard looking peasant now stands in front of me my lord i beg for your help a monster prowls in the forest of messina it's clearly a huge boar as bloodthirsty as few have ever seen has ever been seen please send your strongest hunter and save us from its voracious Joe's I'm actually ambitious and this is a role-playing run so let's stick to the character I shall fell the beast myself let's see how this develops I hope I don't die <laughs> love requested basically one the Duke has to have the Jester and the Count Aurelio is uh, against this option. I could actually employ this uh, albino Catholic Sicilian as my own Jester. On the other hand, Count Aurelio will be dissatisfied, but the opinion of Duke Saro will increase. And Duke Saro is from my family, while Aurelio is not. Moreover, a Duke is a Duke, the other one is a Count. So let's have a Card gesture. This will also bring new challenges at our court. My business here is done. The monster of Messina. This is uh, the challenge I was uh, activating, uh, holding court. And of course, there is now <laughs> the risk of dying. Very nice. Uh, all the preparations completed. I set out with a selected group of guards to face the infamous monster that is terrorizing Messina. It doesn't take us long to find it, a clear trail of blood leads us straight to the creature's abode. I was already informed of what to expect, but when the massive boar finally stands in front of me, I can't help but shivers. So we either challenge him, it's a prowess challenge, we have only 41% of chances of uh, killing the monster. 50% of chances that we heart the beast and I get wounded, 8% of chances of dying. Uh, as I said, I'm not particularly brave, but I'm ambitious. And guys, let's see how it goes. I hope it doesn't pick that 8% of uh, death, but we also know that this is CK3 and it's quite possible. No, I just got wounded. And in all of this, we received a call to war. Who is this? This is my allies, of course. It's Duchess Bogumila of Carinzia, who is moving against uh, Tyrol. Let's accept. Let me take a look at this. Okay, we have uh, a small advantage on them. I think I could really try to help in this war. 
maybe I will go straight to Innsbruck to siege their capital but they're chasing my ally no 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 let's reach my allies then because they will be beaten otherwise and we will definitely not reach them in time I think we lose this battle very bad minus 15% and we retreat so Linz has been conquered by my allies and I've almost intercepted our opponents okay after a poor start we managed to get this victory we can also defeat these three champions and my allies will now siege Innsbruck very good here we intercept another small group of their soldiers, we defeat them again, very good. And we start the siege of Frontenhausen, it takes 7 months. In one month we will uh, complete the siege here. Well now the opponents are moving to Linz, to free Linz, but by the time that we hand this siege and that our allies hand the siege in Innsbruck, the war should be already over. Innsbruck is almost taken while we are about to engage our opponents in Linz. Plus 100%, the war is basically already over. Blackmail. This is Count Aurelio of Bari. I know of your relationship with Countess Sunigilda. If you wish for my silence, you will do as I say. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Decline. And of course he will expose me as an adulterer. And I lose a uh, level of devotion. And I also have the possibility to go on a pilgrimage. Let's do it. Because we definitely need to increase the relationship with the church. Especially now that we have lost devotion. And I will go to Jerusalem. For now I have only 173 of piety and I farm plus 0.4 but my level of devotion is uh, just beautiful. Yeah, King Bastiano, his lustful, rakish, adulterer, what a lovely man. <laughs> he is a little bit obsessed with uh, girls but what to do. Pilgrimage, loss of companions. I could get some additional guards for 70 units of gold, let's do it. Let's see. This new challenge, pilgrimage, a desire for intimacy. How long has it been since I felt I last felt the warmth of another person against my skin? This pilgrimage has taken me far away from my home as well as my comforts. Oh, how I yearn for the desire of flesh, for a lover's embrace and their screams of pleasure as we guide each other to reach a climatic ecstasy. So, in other words, King Bastiano wants to shag someone. I could go for just one night of comfort, but uh, why limit myself to one brother? Let's visit as many as we can. Let's not forget that, as I just said, I mean, the king is lustful, adulterer and rakish. Pilgrimage. Consequences. Excuse me. A familiar looking peasant appears before me. As I rack my brain for when I have might met her before, she answered as if reading my mind. We met at the bridal in Jerusalem. You paid for my services. A shade of pink spreads across her cheeks. For us to be reunited, it has to be fate that I am pregnant with your child. Wow, okay. With an intrigue challenge, I have the possibility to convince her to forget that night. Um, I will go for the intrigue challenge. Considering that we have a strong inclination for intrigue. And so she is uh, threatened into silence. Very good. And we reach finally Jerusalem. I was thinking that maybe we might have our chances here against the Byzantine Empire if we declare war right now. It's a little bit risky. Yeah, but they are at war with half planet. Let's try. This is the Eure County. Let's try with County of N. Let's try to siege these three counties and let's see if this is sufficient to bring us N 
In the meantime, we managed to come back from the pilgrimage. We have lost the spy master. We needed to appoint a new one. Adelaida will do the job. Plus 60 of opinion. The siege of Enna will take 12 months. Let's split this army and let's uh, also start at the same time the siege of Syracuse. And actually we have to be careful because we are at war with the Byzantine Empire while the Pope is basically announcing an upcoming crusade. The faithful prepare for war. A papal envoy has reached my court, bringing news from the Vatican. Pope Clements issue a call to our arms to all the righteous Christian rulers. As a Catholic king, I am expected to prepare my men in support of this uh, most holy cause sponsored by the Universal Church itself. To hold those who will take the fight against the vile infidels desecrating the holy ground of Jerusalem, the Holy See promises full absolution from all sin and a guaranteed place in heaven. Right now I don't have a lot of um, gold and I also have to maintain my armies that are currently at war. So I will just say that my warriors will be ready to fight. So Syracuse is one and I is one too, but all of this is only plus 15. Let's move this to Malta and let's move this to Lecce. So the siege in Malta will take six months, the one in Lecce nine months, and the crusade is about to start in six months. Ay 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 ay, wrong timing. I'm not even sure if I will really manage to join the crusade because honestly, I mean, I don't want to miss out the opportunity of uh, getting at least one county here. In the meantime, we have almost completed also the siege of Lecce. Plus 40%. And here comes the crusade for Jerusalem. As I said, wrong time because we are already busy with the Byzantine Empire. But the time has finally come to bring St. George all his wrath against the vile infidels of Jerusalem. Inflamed by the righteous fury and unyielding resolve, the great army of crusaders assembled by the Pope Clements set forth to, the deli to deliver divine justice upon the wicked and her in their place in heaven. Deus would, but not really, because <laughs> uh, we cannot focus on that right now. And we have to be careful because the Byzantine Empire is moving towards, okay, my territory. Okay, they want to free Anna. Uh, let's do the following. Let's interrupt this siege and let's meet them here with all our troops. Let's converge on Anna. Okay, they run away. Let's try to intercept them. Plus 63%. Starting the siege of Lecce. Let's do the same thing. Let's reunite with our armies and then we can attack them again before they complete the siege. Very well, another victory. Plus 82%. Let's go back to Enna because that's where most likely they will target now. The crusade is going terribly wrong. <laughs> I had the feeling that that would have been the case, to be honest, but we also didn't really have the chance to join because we were busy with these internal affairs. They can vassalize Duchess Lucrezia, let's do it. For low federal obligation, fine for me. And here we meet again our opponents. We have 91% of war score right now. Let's hope that the war ends here. 92, 94. Doesn't end here. Almost likely they will try to go again to Lecce. I will imagine we can anticipate them. And in the meantime it arrives that defeat in the crusade where we didn't have the chance to join we said the pope that we will have done but we didn't have the chance because of this war with the byzantine empire 
The warriors of St. George found only dead and humiliation at the gates of Jerusalem. The crusade, so eagerly called and supported by Pope Urbanus, ended in a disastrous defeat that has only hurt the cause of the faithful. This will surely embolden more blasphemers and infidels to further stray from Catholicism. And in all of this, I have lost my wife. A wife that I have systematically cheated on. Plus 98%. They try to run away, but we intercept them, and the war is over. And force demands, so we disband armies, and now we have also the county of Enna, guys. So we managed to expand further in Sicily, and also in Italy because we vassalize. Uh, the Duchess here, Duchess Berta. But the most important thing, I think, is the conquest of the county of Enna at the expenses of the Byzantine Empire. So, not bad at all. Sicily is almost complete, so we need only one county to complete the conquest of Sicily. Grand title Duchy of Apulia. Increase his opinion, very good. We are within domain limit, the kingdom of Sicily expanded farther and I will say that things are looking good. In all of this, uh, King Bastiano reached the age of 63, his health is poor. I think in the next episode most likely he will die. So guys, it's the 27th of July 968 and I believe it's the right time to end this episode. I hope you enjoyed it as well and if this is the case, I hope you will stick around and then we will meet again in the next video. Cheers!